Over my 20 year programming career, I've held pretty much every single developer position you can think of. I started off as a junior developer and of course moved a little more mid-market and then eventually became a senior developer. And then I eventually reached positions like technical architect, solution architect, team lead, and they're really different positions. But what was pretty common in all of them is that you need to know your fundamentals. When I was a senior dev, an architect, a team lead, one of your main roles and duties is to help recruit developers and also help hire them. A big chunk of that is screening developers that come in and handling that entire interview process. In order to define a level of core competency, you really need a set of screening technical questions that you need to be able to ask developers coming in to really know if they know what they're talking about. I myself generally hate technical interviews. I don't think they properly judge somebody or their skill set or what they can do in a real world environment within your company. That said, those core competency questions are so important to make sure they know what they're talking about. Before the interview, I try to come up with some really simple questions that just about any developer that should be qualified for the position should be able to answer. I'm talking extremely low level basic questions. As a Magento developer, one of the core concepts within the platform is dependency injection. I usually like to ask what it is and how it works. And you'd be surprised at how many people applying for an architect position couldn't even answer that. For a front end Magento position, it's pretty heavy in JavaScript and Require.js is one of those tools that you need to know. And another question I came up with to ask is, how can you ensure JavaScript dependencies are loaded in the correct order? I don't really like to use terminology because it's more of like a dictionary reference rather than trying to prove their core competency. Anyone looking for a full-time developer or architect position should be able to answer these questions. But you'd be surprised. About 80% of the applicants that come through in interviews can't answer these questions. And I'm not knocking you if you're in that 80%. These are really hard questions. But if you're looking for a full-time position, you really need to know this stuff. So if your company is looking to hire a developer or architect to join your team for the long run, be sure to ask these questions upfront because they can very easily screen out a majority of your applicants. A lot of these skills can take weeks or even months to learn. So it's a good idea to know what you're getting into before you hire someone full-time just to make sure they know their stuff. Think of coming up with your own questions that can define a really great baseline for the developer you'd like to have to join your team. With something like the Magento framework, even if you're a great PHP developer, it will take many months or more to properly train someone on these core concepts. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe my content and sign up for alerts to get notified anytime I push out a new video. And if you are a Magento developer or work at a Magento agency and had trouble answering these questions, be sure to check out my Magento 2 Coding Kickstart course. This course goes over the core concepts of everything you need to know to become a pretty proficient Magento backend developer in about a week. I'm also working on a four part series called Demystifying JavaScript in Magento. And you could check out the first part that's already been released called Require.js and JavaScript Components. This course lays the foundations for JavaScript development in Magento and really helps you define that core competency that you need to become a proficient developer. This course helps define the core fundamentals of JavaScript development in Magento 2. And if you're really struggling with any of these core concepts, it'll really help you out. Thanks again, good luck, and until next time, keep coding.